Today I'm watching Peaky Blinders Season 3, Episode 2. It's a start of a new season. Episode 1 was all about Tommy and Grace's wedding. We saw some new sets with their new house that they've moved into. Um, Arthur has a new partner named Linda. Tommy is now working with the Russians. We didn't see Zabini or Campbell in the episode, so I'm curious to see if they will confirm that Campbell has in fact died, if he'll make an appearance. Alfie wasn't in it, May wasn't in it, so yeah, I'm very curious to see what this next episode will be about. Tommy doesn't seem very happy to be doing these things for Churchill. I don't think he likes being told what to do very much, but here we are. He knows he doesn't really have a choice. So yeah, I'm very curious to see what this episode is going to be about. Um, I'm glad the same cast is back and I'm really enjoying this series so far. So thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join and Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. I love when they use like the Birmingham background just to like its full extent. Like we see Tommy walking amongst the flames and the smoke of all these blacksmiths and just I feel like it just really gives you like a good vibe of the city and helps like set the scene and how the city becomes a character in itself. And I think it's just such a good way to help show what's going on within the Peaky Blinders and yeah, just give context for everything that's going on in Tommy's world. So the Peaky Blinders had business with me. Yeah, and Tommy was gonna start selling cars now. Okay, so is he gonna use this bay for storage or some other doings he's got planned? <laughs> ah. My God, some devil gets into you, doesn't it, boy? Yeah, why does he have to work with this priest? I'm curious. Ooh, that's a cool shot. Ambition for respectability doesn't make you a saint. Am I wrong? Yeah, what's this charity like a front for? I guess we'll find out. I didn't think it would be just a straight charity. I knew there'd be other motives behind it. But yeah, I'm curious to see what those are. He set up this like fancy tea set, yeah, in the middle. She's hardly neutral on the ground. Well, it's what you've got. He literally put the table in a pile of horse poop. Fourth Street was bent down. No, nah, no, nah, it couldn't have been us. Well, it was at a wedding. You bent it. Yeah, they were talking about burning down a f restaurant. About the Russian Revolution. They just shushed Tommy Shelby. It's a beautiful library. Oh my gosh. I'd like to see him again. Would that be possible? No, he's dead. Your brother killed him. With a revolver, Ida. I'll just have a job for you after all. She's like, come on, I'm trying to, you know, have an honest job and you're coming into work and saying all these things. Okay, that Leon Archduke, um, that's the name he saw on that paper. So yeah, I'm curious if that's who he's supposed to kill or he's obviously involved, that name's involved with Russia, so. <laughs> Rebellions. What is the most Tommy say? Tommy's busy. He left me in charge. She's like, I'm telling you the plan. Hi. Like, yeah, and John has, I think, still has a soft spot for Lizzie. Yeah, I'm curious to see if John will have a bigger role this season. Not a direct relation to the Romanovs. You were Georgian. Trigger? Is that a trigger word for him? Cheese and rice. And also, she had two sapphires in her intimate places. Oh, my. Nature's pocket. It's already for the killing of the spy and the down payment on future services. A sapphire from his niece's uh, lady parts. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, and he says that he still owes Tommy money and he's giving him the Sapphire's payment, but yeah, I'm very curious. It's interesting to see these new characters and how uh, things are going to go. And yeah, they mentioned Sabini, but we haven't seen him yet. Oh, God. I'm guessing that's the guy that Lizzie... Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, we saw um, John and Lizzie were talking at the races in season two. Oh God, he's beating him with a shoe? What is that? Oh God, so squishy sounding. Oh, not the cap. Oh God, oh God. What part of him was that? Oh, cheese and rice. The pinky! Blood. Yeah, I think he knows who you are, bud. Oh my god. Yeah. I feel like John's trying to prove himself more and more and is like doing more extreme things and acting more like Arthur was. Oh my, who's that? Is that um, Michael's friend from the wedding? I told you to apologize. Mm -hmm. Polly told you to compromise. Mm -hmm. He did the exact opposite. Yeah, he did whatever he wanted. Now we go on the offensive. We take two of the Changreta pubs. We take them tonight. That's it. Oh, Tommy agrees with what John did. Oh my gosh. Dead. That's true. They did. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy's like, we don't apologize. We're not compromising. Like we need to go on the offensive now. I feel like that's only going to fuel John's erratic behavior and his need oh, to prove don't. himself. You know, he's like the third, he's the third brother. Everybody listens to Tommy and then even that Arthur's older. So yeah, I feel like he's like fighting for a position with, yeah, it seems like John and Arthur have kind of switched. Like Arthur's becoming more calm and John's going around cutting people's faces open. Lady Lewington, довольно frivolous. Oh my, so spicy. Oh. Этого дела, возможно, тебе нужно будет. Oh my, they're gonna kill Tommy. Three rotten floors upstairs, and grant us a license within a month. Ah, oh, Grace seems so excited about this. Ah. Is that a sapphire in your pocket, Mr. Shelby? Oh my. On a necklace, cheese and rice. She's not gonna be able to walk with that thing. Where the hell did you get that? <laughs> Beautiful. She, if she leaves the house wearing, I think she's gonna get robbed. Oh my god. No, it's awful. No, it's... Yeah, and this police officer is still taking bribes from them, obviously. So they've got him in his pocket, and he's like, keep the police away from these pubs that we're gonna take over. And... <laughs> Arthur literally washing the blood off his hands. Yeah. Oh. He seems to be like questioning his involvement more and more and I don't know if that's because of his new partner or if he's just like tired of doing the same old stuff over and over. <laughs> I think they said their son's name was Charles in the last episode. Or lose, that's a lot of money. Now it goes. That's what she from Bayside. Yeah, I never thought I'd see Tommy Shelby be a dad. Oh, he's got his goldfish, yeah, that we saw from season two, yeah. <laughs> Cute family moment, yeah, playing with the goldfish. Oh my god. Oh god, oh. Why did the priest have him arrested? That's such a cool shot with the light coming through the bars. So pretty. From your instructions will have consequences. What's your dog's name? That's a great question. I also want to know. Boy. You love your boy. Oh, yeah. They arrested him because he visited Ada? Hey, Mr. Shelby. Be sure to check under your little boy's pillow. Oh my gosh, yeah, Tommy's not really concerned about his own life, which we've seen before, but he's like, go home and check under your son's pillow. Oh my gosh! They're like, we need you alive, we're not worried about hurting your family though. A crematorium, oh my gosh. With his baby's name on it? Wow. <laughs> yeah, that means they obviously have access into his house. Nobody noticed that someone had come in and put this thing under the baby's pillow. And oh my God, like just not very subtle, but clear death threat, obviously. 
I don't even want to think of what Tommy would do if they uh, took away his child. Oh my, Polly. Showstopper over here. Oh God, it's too much. I'll try something more simple. No, don't. I wear it every day. She looks amazing. So when should we start? Yeah, she usually wears like such dark colors and she's wearing pink now. Uh, I'm busy this evening. Polly, invite him. <laughs> I'll come to your studio on Sunday. And then we shall begin. She looks so beautiful. Oh. I'm glad Polly's doing okay. I feel like season two was very... There was a lot for Polly. It was a lot. So, you're the only story that never been told. I can't get over this necklace. Cheese and rice. I feel like your neck would hurt after wearing that thing around your neck. Like... I'll remember everything. I forget nothing. Yeah, I feel like Tommy's like secretly plotting his revenge. She's like, I may be doing what you want now, but that's not always going to be the case. And once I'm able to do whatever I want again, basically, he's like, I will be enforcing my revenge. I thought I'd recognized it. She said it was Russian. She did recognize it because it once was a part of her. Diana, you and I will speak later. I would like that. Yeah, Grace knows something's going on, obviously. That. I think you should not drink vodka with champagne. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing on earth would make me wear it. Wow. Oh, shoot. Curse Sapphire. Okay. Interesting. I don't know how much stock Tommy's going to put in that, but we will see what happens, I guess. Be an awkward conversation. Ask for it back. Jenna! It's so beautiful. You look beautiful. You need to take this off. Why? Okay, yeah, he believes it. <laughs> Should I go inside? Yeah. It's like, just take that necklace off first. Oh, I don't oh God. Oh, God. <gasps> what? 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 They just shot Grace? What? Oh, my God. What? He was just saying how much he needs her. That's a lot of squishing. Oh my god, no, 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 Grace! Come on! Cheese and rice. I hope that giant sapphire like deflected the bullet or something. Oh my god. I'm not sure what that guy said. I'm assuming it was Russian, but... Oh... Yeah, and Tatiana over here is just having a casual cigarette. Oh my god! Ah. So that was my first time watching Peaky Blinders Season 3, Episode 2. Oh my god, what an episode! Of course they saved, like, the last, you know, few scenes for this crazy cliffhanger. And uh, during the episode I was like, okay, you know, we're still laying down some pieces. It's the start of a new season, you know, putting some things in place, meeting some new characters. And then literally Grace gets shot, like, boom, just, like, out of nowhere. And I'm like, what is happening? I'm very curious to see what the next episode's gonna be about, obviously. It looked like she was shot like in her arm or her shoulder or somewhere up here, so I'm hoping she's okay. Like I said, we will find out in the next episode as, as soon as she was shot, the credits rolled. I didn't understand what that guy was saying when he was walking towards Grace. I believe it was Russian. I'm assuming that's what language he was speaking. Um, and especially once we pulled back and it's like that slow-mo. They love to do the slow-mo during like crazy fight sequences. And we've got Polly like running towards the camera and then it pulls back and Tatiana's just standing there smoking in the corner like nothing happened. Like it's just a totally casual day. Whether she orchestrated the shooting or some of the other new characters did, I'm not sure. Um, and then we obviously saw Arthur and John quickly take out the shooter and I don't feel like he's gonna make it. Um, I can't imagine Tommy dealing with the loss of Grace, especially since they were already apart temporarily and now that he's got her back and things seem to be, you know, between them seem to be doing well and she was so excited for this charity dinner and obviously they have um, a family and the son together and just, oh my gosh, like... I can't even imagine what tailspin Tommy will go on to. I feel like Grace is 
a good match for Tommy and they really understand each other and I feel like especially given Tommy's line of work and his past and even Grace's past and they just seem like they had such a connection and such a bond and I know that's rare so yeah I'm very curious to see what's gonna happen what revenge Tommy's gonna plan if Grace is dead and like I feel like he's just gonna be impulsive and he's usually so smart and so calculated and prepares for every situation I feel like his emotions might get the best of him as to be expected obviously this would be a huge loss so I really hope she is okay and they're able to save her and you know get medical attention and whatever and just oh my god that was just literally such a gut punch and especially with such a cute moment between Tommy and Grace right before that and Tommy was saying how much he needs Grace and you know like let's get this necklace off of you basically and let's you know go into the next room where everybody was headed and whether that curse of the necklace is true and that's why she was shot and especially since she was wearing it and Tommy certainly seemed to believe in it and he's like we need to get this necklace off of you and Tatiana was mocking him like oh I would never wear something like this you know like how come you gave it to your wife? Like, oh, you gave her this cursed sapphire. And obviously that's not the story that Tommy was given. He didn't know it was cursed when he gave it to her, but oh man, it was just such a painful moment. If Grace doesn't make it, I think that's going to change Tommy's trajectory for a major part of his life and everything he has planned because... I don't think he wants to take care of this son on his own and what that's gonna look like and yeah oh my gosh and obviously losing his partner and Grace and her being such an important part of his life and ah uh, yeah I can't imagine the rage and the revenge that Tommy will have planned and I think it'll just be carnage for the rest of the season if Grace doesn't make it. So they mentioned Zabini's character and how he was done and he was paid off. I thought he would take over kind of like our main rival in this season but that doesn't seem to be the case. The Russians have seemed to fill in that role. Campbell wasn't in this episode either so I'm assuming that he did die and he's not going to be in the rest of the series. Alfie wasn't in it, May wasn't in it again so I'm curious to see if they will come back in through the rest of the season or if they were just for season two and now they're done. We did meet uh, two new priests in this episode as well and their involvement and everything and one of them had Tommy arrested for meeting with Ada and he's like oh she has ties to the Bolsheviks and that could get us in trouble so don't see her again basically or we'll have her killed and then when he threatened Tommy's family and we see Tommy run home and that panic and oh my god can you imagine finding like the card for a crematorium under your son's like pillow while he's sleeping like so I think that legitimately scared Tommy knowing that they had access to his house and they came in unnoticed obviously and could have done something so much worse but we're just trying to send a message. And before Tommy had Grace and his son, um, his family is obviously very important to him but now he has more things to lose basically and his enemies see that. When it's just him he's like I don't care if I die, like what's you know it's not really a risk to me. He's been in situations where this has come up before so I think he's kind of accepted that fate and then when they said oh we're not worried we're not going to go after you like we will need you alive for this plan so we're going to go after something you value more and that's your son so yeah it was definitely I think pulled at Tommy's heartstrings a little bit we saw Tommy get more involved with these armored vehicles and he went to the factory and he's supposed to bring Tatiana to tour the factory the next day but obviously I don't think that's going to happen considering everything that happened with Grace or I feel like Tommy suspects that Tatiana is involved or at the very least knows that the Russians are involved whether she had a direct hand to play in this or not but I don't feel like he's going to be taking her to the factory and he was already against it and everybody seems to kind of be like pulling their weight and trying to show how tough they are this season like Tatiana's like well, Russians are never going to be weak again we're never going to be soft and then that's exactly what Tommy says when he's home with Arthur and he's like you know what we're not going to be weak you're getting soft like we're not going to apologize we don't make compromises like John's not going over there to say he's sorry he's going to go bash his face in basically and that's what happened and John seems to have taken on more of what we saw of Arthur in season two and Arthur seems to have switched and is kind of questioning why am I doing these things like I know this is what I've been doing for so long and he doesn't go out with John after they you know take over the pub from the Italians and John is rude to him and Arthur's just like how do I why am I doing these things and that's my perception anyways he's kind of questioning his role and questioning 
does he actually want to do this or has he just been doing this this whole time because that's what he's been told to do by Tommy basically and that's part it's obviously their whole family business and now that Arthur has uh, Linda as well she's like you know don't you know work at night basically that's the devil's work you know work during the day especially if he goes out late at night she's like okay obviously you're doing something that you don't want people to find out about because it's dark and you have you know the cover of darkness you can do all these horrible things and just that shot of him literally washing the blood off his hands and I think he had like a moment of reflection and was like okay I need to figure some things out and maybe he takes a step back I'm not too sure but we've definitely seen John trying to you know maybe take Arthur's place I definitely felt like John is this season has been trying to show how tough he is and show how important he is and that he can do all these things and like he can go to meetings and he can make threats and he can you know ruin there was like what like a 200 year peace or something between the Italians and the Peaky Blinders and then John shows up and threatens somebody's kneecaps and that's all gone out the window basically and then obviously also attacks that guy's son um, which sets off a whole new feud and and Polly's like things are good like why are you going around starting all these little feuds that we don't need to be involved in like he's just instigating problems for them basically I'm curious to see if John will continue to just get more and more and more aggressive throughout the season um, and if Arthur kind of does the opposite and takes a step back so it's definitely interesting to see how they've kind of advanced their characters in different ways it was nice to see Polly seem a little bit happy in this episode with her portrait and she's getting all dressed up and that guy was being so complimentary to her and saying you look classy and like a lady of a sophisticated woman and I don't think those are terms that Polly considers herself very often so to have somebody else say that to her I think meant a lot so she's somebody outside of the family and somebody who's still kind of new to getting to know her and for him to make those observations I think really meant a lot to her and it was so nice to see Polly like smile I feel like season two just was hell for Polly and to ha see her finally feeling like a little bit okay and to see her not dress in such dark colors all the time she was wearing pink and just these beautiful jewels on and obviously Grace being shot is going to affect everybody we saw Michael and Charlotte spend more time together in this episode as well and Charlotte um, had met Michael at the wedding at the previous episode and Charlotte's dad works in the car industry somehow so I'm curious to see if Tommy will use that to his advantage or if he will ask Michael to ask Charlotte to you know get some information or to do something for him because Tommy uses everybody basically so yeah I'm very curious she's only been in like a couple of scenes but I'm curious to see what will happen uh, to her character throughout the rest of the season we also saw the Duke speaking Russian and saying how will you be able to kill Tommy when this is all done obviously they want to keep Tommy alive till this business deal goes through but she's like can you actually kill him once this is done and we saw Tommy meet with the Duke so yeah I'm curious to see what's going to happen there and Tommy is usually a two steps ahead especially if he thinks this guy has been involved with Grace being shot or somehow connect to that. Overall I enjoyed the episode that ending those last scenes oh my god my heart uh, I'm very curious and very nervous to see what the next episode is about. I really liked Grace's character I really liked her and Tommy together so I hope she's okay but again like, we will see what happens in the next episode. I hope they don't skip it or I hope sometimes with shows they like skip an episode and then pick it up in the next episode so I hope they pick up immediately after this and we could just see the continuation of that night. I'm definitely a little worried about Tommy's rage and revenge and what he will do if Grace does pass away but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch please comment below and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Yeah what's this charity like a front for? I guess we'll find out. He literally put the table in a pile of horse poop. Yeah they were talking about burning down a restaurant a sapphire from his niece's uh, lady parts. Oh god he's beating him with a shoe? What is that? Oh god so squishy sounding. Why did the priest have him arrested? It's like just take that necklace off first.